good afternoon students today this will be the continuation of pneumonia we have discussed in previous class community acquired pneumonia of usually the bacterial etiology ultimately resulting to lobar pneumonia that is involving one or or two lobes sometimes part of a lobe usually resulting in consolidation focal consolidation usually at the lower lobe mostly unilateral lungs sometimes bilateral now today another part of community acquired pneumonia which is rarer but also happens most common of community acquired pneumonia is lobar pneumonia but bronco pneumonia today's topic is another type of presentation where community acquired pneumonia may be present as here unlike the previous alveolar infection starting with the alveoli infection was there in lobar pneumonia but in case of bronco pneumonia infection starts with terminal bronchioles which may extend into surrounding alveoli leading up to a patchy configuration of pneumonia this patchy consolidation presents in x ray chest x ray as mottled appearance mottled it is usually of a terminal age of uh, human being like usually in infancy or in old age where immunity is lower it may be present as terminal event in old age people with a chronic bedridden illness or chronic malnutrition but in case of infants or in any other situation mostly in old age after the as the secondary infection after viral infection so key points infection of terminal bronchioles with sometimes uh, involving the surrounding alveoli patchy consolidation appearing in chest x ray as mottled appearance usually a disease of infancy and old age uh, in old age as a terminal event after a chronic bedridden illness and in infancy after a secondary infection of um, uh, a secondary of a viral infection like measles and such patient presents with debilitating illness patient will give you history of bedridden illness for one or two months there may be relaxation of uh, um, gastric uh, gastric muscles or tracheoesophageal reflex and leading up to aspiration of gastric contents or classic history of sore throat and upper respiratory tract inflammation which is again you are ti by viral etiology upon examination cbc complete blood count will reveal neutrophilic leukocytosis that is like count will be higher total count total count will be higher uh, higher and neutrophil percentage will be like 85 to 90 chest x ray will appear as mottled focal opacities in lower zone why lower zone the bronchioles that leads up to secretion due to gravitation the secretion is uh, accumulated in lower zone but it doesn't only present as in lower zone opacity the appearance may be like this patchy morphologic features it is classically classified as patchy area of gray and red consolidation affecting one or more lobes lobar pneumonia usually confined was confined under a particular lobe or surrounding lobe a regional area but here it will affect one lobe and or more other lobes usually presents as bilateral usually presents in lower zone of lungs as i discussed grossly the word gross means appearance in naked eye how the lung will appear in naked eye it is, it refers to usually a post mortem specimen it will present as dry granular firm 
usually gray or red in color usually the affected area will be 3 to 4 cm in diameter when you palpate it when you uh, touch your fingertip it will uh, appear as a little elevated from the surface usually surrounding a bronchiole how will you understand the bronchiole it will the area will be firmer than the surrounding alveolar parenchyma alveolar parenchyma will be spongy but bronchiole will be appearing as slightly elevated slightly firm you can understand the ring like surface the infection usually will be centered around that bronchiole will be centered around that bronchiole usually 3 to 4 centimeter in diameter upon sectioning microscopically the bronchioli will be showing acute like this this is bronchiole this is bronchiole and it will be showing peribronchiolar acute inflammatory infiltrate see these trilobe things see these trilobe things these are neutrophils that is an um, cell of acute inflammation bronchioles will be surrounded as acute inflammatory exudate peribronchiolar al alveolar parenchyma peribronchiolar alveolar parenchyma may appear as congested because of blood vessels will be filled with rbc in when there is inflammation there is rubot so more rbcs are recruited blood vessels are dilated more neutrophils are recruited so it will appear as congested blood vessels like this will be containing neutrophilic exudate the affected alveolar septa the if if any alveolar septa is affected then it will appear as thickened why because all alveolar septa is have have, have the capillaries all have blood vessels because that is the pulmonary bed if that is congested if that is congested it will appear thick it will appear thick will be containing fibrous wall fib more fibrous deposition there will be fibrous wall like this the alveolar wall the alveolar wall is thickened because this this is congested this is congested and containing neutrophils congested means rbc field neutrophils means exudate will be thick and alveolar septa the alveoli that are not as much as affected may contain play edimal fluid with minimal or few neutrophilic cells now till now this is bronchopneumonia part is over only i am showing you only these two pictures because they are in hirschhorn so that you can relate to it and figure out the difference between lobar pneumonia and lobular or bronco pneumonia let's have a look at the difference definition acute bacterial infection of part of a lobe one or both lungs or the entire lobe presenting as consolidation acute bronchopneumonia acute bacterial infection of terminal bronchioles extending may which may extend into adjoining alveoli presenting as patchy more common in adults like 50 50 above 60 around age common at extremes of age infants and very old age most often affects healthy individuals pre existing diseases like chronic debility terminal illness flu measles measles referring to infancy flu referring to infancy common etiologic agents this is very important you must differentiate it and remember it such first etiologic agent must be pneumococci second klebsiella pneumonia then comes staphylococci streptococci here first comes staphylococci streptococci then pseudomonas rare but very serious then hemophilus influenzae the pathologic features of lobar pneumonia usually goes through four phases early consolidation gray hepatization uh, red hepatization gray hepatization and resolution 
in case of bronchopneumonia there is patchy consolidation with central granularity and alveolar exudation and thick receptor all appear at the same time investigations only difference is chest x ray both will show neutrophilic leukocytosis both will show positive blood culture will take about 3 days of time but you have to start antibiotic empirical most of it so in pharmacology rehash what are the empirical antibiotics and how they affect which type of bacteria gram positive gram negative or anaerobic prognosis better prognosis to treatment resolution is most common prognosis is good but response to treatment in bronchopneumonia is variable organization may occur will come what is organization in later on prognosis is poor complications are less common complications of bronchopneumonia are more common and also another thing happens in bronchopneumonia other than the complication we will discuss the bronchiectasis because the bronchioles give away the wall of bronchi bronchioles are exhausted and they give away let us see the x-ray details as I said low bar classically involving a solid consolidation here this is patchy this is patchy can you see most in this lung lesser in this lung diffuse patchy inflammation black refers to air white refers to exudate or anything that contains not air the complications of both pneumonia are the same except in bronchopneumonia bronchiectasis is an un, uh, unnatural event and very uh, many, due to uh, usual pathological reasons it happens what is organization you have heard about the fourth stage that is resolution but sometimes in some individual resolution cannot occur instead the lung undergoes fibrosis there is proliferation of fibroblasts which organizes and lays down more fibroblast and alveolar wall thickens lung becomes more airless dry and leathery like appearance this fibrosis of the lung leading up to complete the suppose un, one part of a lung is undergoing organization then that part will not be used that part cannot be used to, in pulmonary exchange anymore this fibrosis part this after pneumonia is called carnification this happens in some small percentage of situations but happens this is a situation that commonly seen rarely but commonly amongst the complication it is the most common complication seen in okay, after pneumonia as I said in clinical features of pneumonia and in the stages there is pleurisy plural effusion occurs in a small percentage of states which ultimately leads up to empyema if secondary infection occurs empyema is presence of pus in the pleural cavity there is the pleural space is filled with exudate and yellowish fluid there are some situations where lung abscesses is the last stage of infection uh, mostly after secondary infection and uh, in immunosuppression usually that happens metastatic infection is another situation metastatic means something going up to other areas mastoiditis sinusitis otitis media even brain infection meningitis these are the metastatic infection uh, that can occur you other than this the most important organ in vicinity of lung is 
heart the first thing happens that pericarditis and infection of cardiac muscles now this was community acquired pneumonia mostly presenting as lobar and bronco pneumonia we have discussed up till this part usually both are bacterial now what happens there is if there is a viral infection this is not supposed to be a common question in mbbs but it may be present because of the recent si sars sars infection that is covid 19 infection community and acquired pneumonia due to viral etiology usually named as interstitial pneumonia because of the location it usually affects the area between two alveoli the interstitium that is that is having the capillary bed fibrous connective tissue and such rarely affecting the alveolar wall it is also called primary atypical pneumonia because of the atypical presence of no neutrophilic in, in, infection inflammation of the alveoli there is completely exudateless inflammation happens to all ages it can happen to any age usually viral uh, usually viral pneumonia are mild transient and self limiting usually involves the upper respiratory tract presenting as common cold now let's take a look at what are the viruses usually involved in here respiratory syncytial virus is the most common cause of viral infection why syncytial will come to that in under the microscopical pictures another two common virus influenza and para influenza virus human adenovirus corona virus human metanemo virus now severe acute respiratory syndrome sars it presents as epidemic in some region up till now but right now corona covid 19 is a type of corona virus mutated which presents as sars which is pandemic question won't come to you as covid 19 infection but in case any viral infection is there they are in the question be sure to write about community acquired pneumonia of viral etiology clear community acquired pneumonia of bacterial etiology is most predominantly presents as lobar pneumonia second presents as bronco pneumonia sometimes both together present a, a, a total consolidated pneumonia now community acquired pneumonia due to viral etiology is interstitial pneumonia or atypical primary pneumonia in some situation cytomegalovirus is present in immunocytop immunosuppression always cytomegalovirus comes under immunosuppression due to many situation due to aids due to transplantation due to atherogenic or acquired immunodeficiency even primary immunodeficiency usually it is self limiting and stays involved till upper respiratory tract infection suppose the cold you face in weather change the common cold that is viral etiology usually transient usually self limiting but it may extend down uh, involving the alveoli or terminal uh, bronchioles in case of first secondary infection second malnutrition alcoholism and chronic debilitating illness what are the morphologic features there is patchy the patchy massive it may be patchy in earliest cases it if sars or covid 19 it may be massive widespread consolidation of one or both lungs severely impa impairing the oxygen transfusion saturation drops immediately person needs to be intubated and uh, because of the saturation drop thing immediate oxygen administration is advised lung appears to as heavy congested and subcrepitant cut section this cs is not culture sensitivity this cs in histopathology under gross is cut section shows upon pressing bloody or frothy fluid microscopically there are three types of presentation 
first most commonly present cells interstitial interstitial inflammatory inflammation there is widening of alveolar walls congestion mononuclear inflammatory infiltrate and edema mononuclear inflammatory infiltrate means not neutrophil it usually lymphocyte lymphocyte macrophage or monocyte if in tissue then it's macrophage and plasma cells what is the difference between bacterial and viral viral mononuclear bacterial polymorphonuclear that is neutrophil congestion and edema are common in severe cases there is this alveoli is only present between this alveoli is if this interstitium is affected only these two alveoli or these walls will be affected but in case of this situation where severe cases very rare but happens in severe cases all the alveoli will be affected in case of massive in case of massive and widespread consolidation alveolar lumina will be filled with edema fluid fibrin strands and scanty inflammatory cells usually it it involves interstitium if at all involves alveoli alveoli will be filled with edema and some inflammatory cells mononuclear there is coating of alveolar wall there is coating this suppose this 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 these are alveoli these are alveoli and rest of this area is interstitium this is again alveoli look at this particular alveoli these are type 2 pneumocytes scattered and there is something pink coating this is hyaline membrane this coating is important i'll tell you why this coating of alveolar wall usually happens when intervening bacterial infection if you can look closely you will see there are polymorphonuclear exhibits neutrophils these are congested capillaries the red ones you see because of orangeophilia parvisis capillaries and there are neutrophils mostly mononuclear but neutrophils will also be there because of superseding bacterial infection now about this hyaline coating you may have heard the term acute respiratory distress syndrome the classical feature of acute respiratory distress syndrome is this coating in case of interstitial pneumonia like similar to ARDS this hyaline coating occurs but hyaline membrane coating of alveolar wall is classical of ARDS remember that for the multiple choice questions of neat there can be reactive changes i did not show you pictures of this because this is uncommon you do not need to remember the picture of this just remember as i said before respiratory syncytial virus why syncytium why the word comes syncytium there is proliferation of lining epithelial cells usually type 2 and these epithelial cells of bronchioles and alveoli mostly bronchioles but usually these epithelial cells form a syncytium that is nucleoli are collected together in a cell it is not a giant cell you can understand from the opacity of the nuclear chromatin of this giant cell the nuclei uh, chromatin will be lighter opaque no, no sorry not opaque this is more dense this this will the nuclear quality will be similar to pneumocytes you don't have to understand that that just remember this is respiratory syncytial cells along with that giant cells might also be there usually seen in some of the viral inclusion situation the, the giant cell syncytial virus since syncytium presentation is presentation of rsb respiratory syncytial virus in case of some uh, in this previously we had we had seen a picture of cytomegalovirus cytomegalovirus uh, it will present as nucleolar nucleolar the suppose this is a cell the nucleus will be large 
it will as dense chromatin there may be mostly nuclear uh, inclusion but may be cytoplasmic inclusion classical of cmb happens in immunosuppression so that's it for today questions will be coming as lobar pneumonia mostly lobar pneumonia if it comes as a community acquired back pneumonia it will you will mostly write about bacterial pneumonia you will emphasize on bacterial pneumonia and lobar pneumonia with the four stages but uh, you will add the bronco pneumonia some amount if questions comes as totally bacteria, community acquired pneumonia not specifying whether it is bacterial or interstitial you have to bacterial or viral you have to write both all three pneumonias in order of lobar bronco pneumonia and viral pneumonia in that order but if questions as comes as treatment card 60 year old presenting with acute uh, chill rigor fever fever uh, and acute respiratory distress uh, then uh, chest x ray showing uh, consolidation and right lower lung or left lower lung you write about mostly lobar pneumonia that's all for today thank you